Hello folks, welcome back in another video. This time we're testing this M1 MacBook Air in benchmark. So we will try to run the Geekbench benchmark as well as the Cinebench benchmark and let's take a look at this. So let's see how it does perform after like three years um, after the premiere. I've been using this laptop mostly for video editing as well as creating some projects and a lot of different things. So it's been used a lot quite a lot the battery health is just decreased to like 90 percent i guess but this thing is just flawless it handles all the tasks i just throw at it so no complaints about that i absolutely love this machine so let's take a look at the geekbench let's take a look at the benchmarks and uh, let's see how it does in there so here we are currently on my desktop first of all let's run the geekbench benchmark because yeah why not too so as you can see, we deal with 8GB of memory, not a lot of memory, it's the base model ML MacBook Air and the M1 processor clocking at 3.19GHz and the Mac OS 12.3.1 uh, which is the Monterey, I haven't updated this. All the unnecessary apps are closed, so no worries about that. Let's quit the monitor app and let's also plug it in. Just in a moment, we will also test out how it performs without the power supply. Let's run the benchmark. All right, so we just finished doing the Cinebench benchmark and we're looking at the score of 2359 of the single score and also the 8404 multi-score. So I'm really, really, really impressed with the results that this uh, M1 MacBook Air, the base model brings us. I saw some uh, comparisons online and those models got like uh, 6300, something of multi-score for the MacBook Air M1 and for the MacBook Pro M1 it was something about 7300 so it's over like a thousand score of a difference compared to the M1 Pro model so not bad not bad I don't know what's the reason for that but it's uh, doing pretty well to be honest with you okay so now let's uh, unplug the cable and we will compare the score to the battery performance so same thing let's go all right so we've got a results for the battery test and as you can see these are pretty much the same ones uh we've got the 99.9 percent .9 of the performance unlike on the android when the performance drops to literally like 60 percent of the one i heard that some of the laptops just drop down to like 30 percent of the performance when they're on the battery only so props to m1 macbook air i really like how it all looks like and due to this, also the battery life is just amazing on M1 MacBook Airs. So now let's just plug it in back and we will do the GPU score test. So let's exit out of here and let's go to the GPU. And now we're using the OpenCL GPU API with the M1 MacBook. And let's run it. We'll check back in a second. All right, we've got the results back. So as you can see, as for the GPU, it scores at scores at seventeen thousand eight hundred and forty-two. So not bad as for the M1 MacBook Air. And yeah, that's just pretty much it. Now let's go to the Cinebench and let's try running it. Let's do the CPU single score first. Here it generates. So let's wait to. That's the job. Okay, folks, and just like this, we've got a score of uh, 1492 points of a single score now as for the CPU, which is pretty much identical to what our program is just showing us with the identical system. 1492 points. And this is how it stacks up against some other CPUs. Okay, so I think that's it for now. Let's cool it down. Let's close the laptop. Let's exit the program and then we will also run the multi-score benchmark. See you in a second. Okay, it's been a while. Let's go to the Cinebench benchmark and let's test out the multi-score right now. So let's go. Everything unnecessary is closed. So there's, so there's no memory being taken up. Okay, so... It's running right now, the multi-score. Let's check back in a second, let's see. 
How's the score about? Hey people, so we just finished and the score that we have is 6,952. So not bad as for the M1 MacBook Air, which is the base model. I'm just saying this over, over, over again. And yeah, the performance is actually really, really good as you can see. So no worries about that. All right, so I would like to thank you so much for watching for this video. I hope it was informative for you. You actually saw the raw performance of this ML MacBook Air, uh, which is pretty good to be honest with you. I'm really surprised with how it performs after years of using it. You will see more videos about this Mac on my channel and uh, yeah, don't forget to hit the like button and comment on this video if you like this. Also, you, you can check out my website, which is saturnx.com. The link is down in the description. I highly recommend you guys checking this thing out. And without further ado, just till the next video. See you guys in the future. Bye.